Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today, we're going to be talking about black women, weaves, wigs. Should you compliment them? No. Let's watch. In the front. Yeah. Hello, how are you? See, how are you? She came in with pretty curls. Now she came Can you her... please not talk about when I switch up my hair? It's... I think it's beautiful. I, I know, but like as a black person, it's to me, it feels like a microaggression. I deal with it all the time at work. And you can make that face. I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying, I'm telling you how it makes me feel. Everyone's different. But personally, if you like the hair, oh, pretty hair. You don't have to like clarify that it was different each and every time because it makes me uncomfortable. I just like the way you change I know. Hair. This, I, I'm not looking for any excuses. It's just, it makes me uncomfortable. Okay. Cool. Okay, so <laughs> I've obviously looked into this individual. And this individual is a uh, dancer. For lack of a better word, she dances for um, a certain group of people who uh, throw money, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so that doesn't really change anything. But I wanted to let you know, maybe she's what I'm saying is that her being on camera, this wasn't something new. This wasn't a random video. She dances on video. She twerks on video. She does, you know, seductive stuff on video. So her making this video isn't just out of the blue. So I just want to make sure we get that as a precursor into why I think she made this video. <clears throat> Honestly, I do think she made this video just for attention because I look back at some of her old videos and none of them really pushed this kind of thing. Um, so I don't see that being an issue. I don't see why she brought it up. The video right before this one was talking about alternative women by black women is awesome. I'm like, okay, you know, it is what it is. So let me say this. I do think that when it comes to black women and their weaves and their wigs, I can see how it would be annoying. Give me one second. Just have some water. I can see how black women could be annoyed by this. I can see how every time you walk through the door, somebody's saying something about your wig, somebody's saying something about your weave and be like, wow, you look completely different because I used to do that all the time. I actually stopped doing that after a while. I don't compliment um black women i don't say anything about their hair um because yeah, a lot of the cases at least in my case that most of the time they're wearing a wig uh, so i don't, don't say anything especially if it looks completely different from yesterday i don't say nothing i just go on about my day i don't say your hair looks nice i just move along now she said it was a microaggression microaggression do i think it was that meaning she was uh complimenting her to also kind of uh, insult her, look down upon her, right? It's just like when somebody says, uh, that on you, I mean, you're gay, but you don't even look gay. You know, it's kind of an insulting way to say something. Do I think it was a microaggression? I do not. I don't think that the security guard was saying, um, I'm saying that you're changing your hair a lot. So I believe it, it's, it's an insult. I am saying that you black women always have to wear wigs to look nice. I don't take it that way. I do think the security guard was trying to be a nice individual. You know, when you work security guard or you work a desk job where you're going to be seeing a lot of people who come through, um, even if you work at like a call center, you maybe work at a law firm or something like that. So a place where you're going to see the same people walking past you every day because you're, you know, the line of security that lets people through certain doors. If they're locked, they're security locked. Of course, after a while, you're going to have to say, Hey, you look great today. Oh, I like that suit. Hey, uh, I like your mustache. Oh, your beard looks nice today. You just find something to say instead of just, you don't want to just sit there every day when somebody walks by you and, you know, and it looks like that security guard probably sees 50, 60, 70 people a day. Um, I'm assuming it's security guard at a uh, apartment complex, but this could be security guard at her job um, of dancing. I don't know. It doesn't look like a dance place. The way she was dressed I'm assuming she was out and about at her complex. So she, the complex person is probably seeing 50 to 60 people a day come in, right? And, she, and I know she doesn't work at a call center, but if this was a call center, you would be seeing 100 to 200 people every single day. Some call centers are bigger than that. You may be seeing 300, 400 people coming past you all day long. So I think the security guard was just being nice. It's just finding a reason to say something. And I think it, it, it comes off as rude if you don't say anything. You just... Look down at your phone. If you don't ever want to do that, speaking of that, and this is just me going on a little bit on a tangent for some people who work in the customer service area, please, when you see people 
stay off your phone. I walked into a gas station the other day, and you know what the person was doing at the cash register? They were talking to some girl, who I'm assuming was his girlfriend, and he was not even looking at me, and he had it. He was hungover. You know how um, some people put their hands down? I don't even know how to explain it, but they were kind of hanging over the counter, if that makes more sense. They're not standing up straight. They're not being attentive. They're just kind of hanging out. It's the same thing when you're on your phone, okay? I understand being on your phone could be addictive, but when you work at a place of customer service, don't care if it's just the employees. Do not be looking down at your phone, okay? Be attentive. Say hello to everybody who walks in the door, and you're going to get some people like this girl where you may say something about their hair, and they go off on you, okay? I'm just thinking the security guard was just trying to be nice. They're doing their job. They're being attentive. They're saying hello to everybody who walks by because that stuff does matter. That's what makes a good employee. That's what makes good customer service. That's what makes you a good security guard. And it makes you more. And when you're a security guard, it makes it even easier. Should something happen, you can explain stuff to the police very well because you every day talk to people. A conversation with people. You can be like, I said something to this person. This person went off on me. And this kind of led to this. And that. It's perfect. So do I think with a microaggression, do I think this uh, woman should have went off like she did? No, I don't think she was doing it out of sincerity. I don't think it was being uh, genuine. Um, I do think she was just doing this because she has a TikTok. And once again, like I said, she makes videos, you know, doing seductive stuff, sexual and all that kind of stuff. Every now and then she may throw in something about somebody being black. So I don't think it was being I don't think it was fair to security guard for her to film that because it looked like she went in there with the plan to say something. She knew the security guard was going to say something. That's why she turned on the camera to begin with. That's my opinion. Let me know what you think. Do you think complimenting a black woman on her weave is a microaggression? Or do you think that the security guard was trying to be nice and she uh, unfortunately got caught by a uh, TikToker? Okay. All right. Goodbye.